Hi, I'm Shannon Albert from www.prepschool.com and today I have my five favorite times to visit Disney World in 2020. So every year we put together a crowd calendar with suggestions on the least and most busy times to visit Disney World. And every year it gets a little bit more challenging because Disney has become very clever at plugging in the holes during the least busy times. In fact, when I first started www.prepschool.com seven years ago, the crowd calendar had lots of green areas. Green is what I use to indicate less busy times. And Disney over the years has gone into all those green areas and kind of plugged in the holes and scheduled lots of different events. So we take those into consideration when we put together our crowd calendar. That includes things like run Disney events, cheer competitions, school calendars, all the years of experience we've had and observations we've made in the parks, etc. Now we also include Disney's own ticket prices because they have variable ticket pricing based on what they think the crowds will be. So with all that information together, we put together a crowd calendar and today I have the five best times that I would suggest visiting Disney World in 2020. Number one is the second week of January through the first week of March but you need to skip run Disney races and the three day holiday weekends that fall in between. Now this time of year is fantastic because you have mild temperatures. In fact, it is the best time of year if weather is a concern for you. And you have Festival of the Arts at Epcot and low crowds. The downside to traveling during this time of year is that you are more likely to have closures. Disney takes advantage of the low crowds and they close attractions for refurbishment. And so that will be a factor. But other than that, you've got everything else pretty perfect in terms of weather and prices and crowds, as long as you avoid those, those a couple of spotty peak times in there. So that's number one. Number two is the end of April through early May. Now this time is heating up. It's definitely not cool like the first one that I recommended, but it is warm enough if you wanna swim, which appeals to a lot of people, particularly who live in the North, who are still having cold temperatures that time of year. Definitely warm enough to swim. You have Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot, which is Epcot looking its absolute best. And you will have moderate crowds. This time of year can be tricky because Easter adjusts every year, but for 2020, end of April through early May should be pretty ideal. Number three might surprise you, and that is summer. Now, until a few years ago, summer was off Often thought of and rightfully so as being a super busy time to go to Disney World and that's because people would just go during their summer breaks in school but that has changed a lot in the last few years and there are multiple reasons for that one is that fall breaks are much more common so people will go then instead another is that the summer ticket prices went up so there's a couple of reasons for that but summer is actually a very moderately crowded time it's not super busy like it used to be the exception is July 4th that does tend to be super busy. So if you avoid that, you usually will have a pretty decent time. Now summer, aside from being very hot and rainy, will have low crowds. Everything will be open pretty much. They don't do refurbishment so much. There will be more extended hours. Um, so you'll have more park time available if you would like. Also starting this year, free dining may be an option. That should indicate to you how low the crowds are in the summer. Disney actually decided to make free dining available to summer travelers. Another thing is if you're a planner, summer travelers tend to not be planners. They're much more spontaneous. Maybe they get in the car, maybe it's a road trip. Um, they're not sort of thinking ahead like people that look at plans months or years in advance and try to pick the best time to go. So if you're a planner, you can use that to your advantage and kind of navigate around them. Having a touring plan at fast passes and dining reservations means that you will have things booked that they won't. And so that can really work out in a planner's favor. That is number three. Number four is the entire month of September. In fact, it is likely the least busy time in the whole year for you to be at Disney World if you choose to visit then. Now, the couple downsides are that it is still very hot and it is right in the middle of hurricane season. So rain is a real possibility and hurricanes are a threat. I would highly suggest travel insurance if you're planning to visit this time of year, but you should not encounter hardly any crowds. You will be able to do the Halloween party at Magic Kingdom if you want. You can do food and wine festival at Epcot. So you've got those options. You also will likely have free dining. It has been available for years during September. And so price wise, it can be a great time to go as well. 
well. So September is a safe bet now and has been for a long time. That's number four. Number five is early December. Now, early December used to be pretty dead. In fact, it was like a really safe bet if you went the first one or two weeks of December that you could have very low crowds, very low temperatures, etc. I'm not going to say it's very low crowds in early December, but it's definitely moderate crowds. It's nothing like the weeks that come before or after it. But I always think that if you have more moderate temperatures that, you know, it's like sort of a balance. If you have moderate crowds, moderate temperatures, they can kind of balance each other out. So one of the perks of going this time of year is that all four parks are decked out for the holidays, and that includes the um, Christmas party at Magic Kingdom. The key to this is that in November, when a lot of people travel to Disney World, because November is busy almost the entire month, you can do holiday things in November, but Epcot is not quite ready for the holidays then, and all the resorts won't be either. But by the time you get there, the first one or two weeks of December, all four parks will be ready for the holidays and the resort. So if you happen to travel then, you'll get moderate crowds, moderate temperatures, and holidays throughout the parks, making it one of our favorite times to visit in 2020. So I hope that information is helpful. We have lots more detail about all of these times and all the times in between, and that is on our crowd calendar that we update constantly, and that link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.